Hello, 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 everyone. It is Dr. Brandy B. Just wanted to stop by for a minute and chat with you all as I am traveling to celebrate with my niece on her graduation weekend. So come on in. I just want to share with you about seven um, facts. It's the seventh day of May, which is designated as Mental Health Awareness Month. And of course, you know, over at Dr. Brandy B, that's what we talk about all the time is mental health awareness. So I just want to bring about seven things to your attention since it's the seventh day. Hello, Ryan. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. We are out here. Uh, I'm up almost, Ryan, around your neck of the woods. I'm at Prattville. Stop by uh, to grab a bite. So we are almost to Montgomery. Headed to Mobile. So I've got my whole crew, so I just decided I would come stand outside. You never know what you might hear in my vehicle. It's all kinds of stuff going on. We're having school inside the vehicle. Um, Mama is reading the proof of my book, which I actually have in my hand. Uh, Fred, tell everybody hi, Fred. Hi. Fred's doing some legal work. You saw Franklin back there. Tell him hi, Franklin. He said, hi, Franklin. <laughs> Stacy says, beautiful. Thank you for joining, Stacy. Thank you for joining. We are, um, it's a beautiful day out here in Prattville, almost to Montgomery. Um, we still have a long way to go, but I swear we've been in the car for like 12 hours already. <laughs> anyway, I, you tell them hi. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm Dr. Brandy B, triple board certified child and adolescent psychiatrist. Through my Facebook live streams, my uh, webinars, any upcoming events, and my best-selling book, which will be coming out soon. I help worried moms and dads get all the education that they need so that they can help their children be successful in the classroom and in life. And I just want to bring seven things to your attention today in honor of Mental Health Awareness Month, which is May. Hello, Miss King. Thank you for joining. The first is that uh, Mama is uh, watching. Tell him, hey, Mama. Y'all see my beautiful mama. I said, tell him, hey. So, first thing is that mental illness is real. We know that, right? So, I'm just going to define it for you. Mental illness is anything that impacts your mood, your thinking, or your behavior. So that is why um, things like ADHD could be considered a mental illness or things like gambling could be considered a mental illness, depression, anxiety, um, intellectual disabilities. Anything that impacts your mood, your thinking, or your behaviors could be consider considered a mental illness. All right. Hello, Mommy says from inside the car. Latina Wood says, hello. Hello, Karen. Thank you all for joining. Um, mommy, Miss Dia says, hello, Mrs. Diane. Um, and Miss King says, good afternoon. And I happy a very happy happy mother's day to you and the same to you miss king with a cha-cha-cha on the top all right so mental illness is anything that impacts your mood your thinking or your behavior so think about substance use um drugs alcohol all of that is considered a mental illness and so sometimes it's helpful to me at least to be able to put that into thinking that people who suffer from substance use disorders are actually suffering an illness and so while we may wonder well why in the world don't they just stop because why in the world don't people just stop having high blood pressure or diabetes it's really not quite that simple and so you know that helps us to extend some grace to people who find themselves with that type of illness so just remember that mental illness impacts your mood your thinking or your behavior okay number two um, therapy works and we talk a lot about at what point do uh, you need therapy and it's at the point that you think you do um, so don't be ashamed to get therapy go ahead and seek therapy just start talking to somebody that you know and saying you know I'm not okay I'm not doing well that's a good place to start a good place to start number three mental health promotion I want us over on Dr. Brandy B to start thinking about doing mental health check-ins you know we check in with our medical doctors we check in with our eye doctors we check in with our dentists who else do we check in with um 
And we check in with our OBGYN as ladies, the children. Uh, in that first year of life, you see your pediatrician many, many, many times in the year for scheduled visits and then also when other things come up. So I really want us to get in the habit of doing mental health check-ins so that we can recognize when we're not okay. And so that we can also be okay with admitting to others that we're not okay. Um, so making sure our mood is good, that we're not too anxious, that, that tightness in our chest, the feelings of being overwhelmed. Um, you know, I saw something the other day that said burned out on the job. It's not necessarily burned out. Sometimes it's just that you're working too much and you're underpaid or maybe you're feeling undervalued. And either of those things will make you feel like going on at that particular place is going to be very difficult so i want you to keep that in mind and i really want you to in this month of may where we say it's mental health awareness month and we've got so many things that we celebrate we celebrate nurses we celebrate teachers we celebrate of course moms so happy mother's day to all the mothers out there um, i really want us as women especially to do something for yourself this this weekend do something for yourself um a lot of the moms in my mommy groups when when the poll comes out what do you want for mother's day people say i want time alone uh, for mother's day which is odd right because you would think who wouldn't want to be with their kids on mother's day but the truth of the matter is that a lot of moms don't get a break and believe me i don't care who you are and how great you are as a mom and how much you love your kids and the lord you need a break right you're still an individual we talked about that before um i think it was about two months ago how are you doing mom i think was the topic of that discussion but really we need to check in with ourselves to make sure that we are okay um that we're getting the things that we need as human beings men and women alike men and women alike so make sure this weekend that you do something for yourself and a bubble bath doesn't count unless you never get a chance to take a bath um but really be intentional about even if you say you know what family i'm just going to the mcdonald's by myself and i'm gonna get a milkshake and i'm gonna sit in the car and enjoy it and i'll be back when i get back that is a moment for you that is a moment to reclaim your time uh, as some people say but re to reclaim yourself as an individual and not as so-and-so's mom so-and-so's wife so-and-so's nurse so-and-so's ceo or whatever else because it's very important for your own mental health that you stay in tune with yourself so you can recognize when things are um not as they should be let's see who we have joining us we've got tammy renee hathcock thank you so much for joining latina says happy mother's day and happy mother's day to you darling uh we've got my cousin Anne marie marable thank you for watching thank you all for watching so number one is recognizing that mental illness is anything having to do with mood thinking or behaviors changes in those things changes in your mood changing in your thinking changing in your behavior if you find that you cannot control your thoughts and that your thoughts are controlling you then that may be uh, a mental illness right um, if your thoughts are moving too fast or swarming around you um, and things just are not right, that may be a mental illness. Number two, I want you to remember that therapy works. At the Everybody needs therapy, right? And at the point that you think you need it, that is when you really need to go. I really want you, everyone to put aside their, oh, well, what will people say? Um, and think about what people will say if you really find yourself out here struggling uh, to make your dreams come true, struggling to, to just be whatever people call normal, because I don't even know what normal is, uh, because really normal is a spectrum. And some people dip, I mean, we really, if, if normal was a line, we cross over and come back all day, every day, right? You're in traffic, somebody cuts you off, you slip over into insanity for just a minute and say some words that otherwise you may not have said, but then you quickly come back. But you know, sometimes some people slip over and, and they don't come back to the other side. And that's what we want to make sure that we're watching out for. Uh, so therapy works for that. A lot of people are under a lot of stress. You know, the challenges of coronavirus uh, financially, with families, with kids being at home. It's been, a, it's been a rough year for a lot of people and maybe not in all the same ways. But uh, just keep that in mind when you're going forward. Number three, mental health promotion. I want us to really focus on mental wellness and not so much just mental illness all right number four i want you to know that uh, one fifth of all adults have a mental illness so if you are in the car at the workplace in your living room with five other people look to your left look to your right look in front of you look behind there's a large chance that of five of you all one of you will have a mental illness 
right? That seems pretty wild, and it's true. The unfortunate part is that that one person who may be among you um, who is suffering or having challenges from a mental illness, it may be that they are suffering in silence, suffering in shame, suffering in guilt. So the other four of you in the room have it upon you. It is, it is due you to not be critical of them, not be judgmental of them, but actually show them some love and support. One in five guys, one in five, that is not I mean, a large number. Like, literally, there are five people in the car with me as we're traveling to Mobile to see my niece graduate. Me, my mom, my husband, and my three children. One in five. So that's, you can have five people in the car with you at any time. Five people. One in five of you. Everybody just uh, drop one in five. One I in five. One in five. Every one in five people. So when you're just out at the mall, when you're at family gatherings, just look around the room. Pick five people. One of y'all has something going on. Whether or not you're admitting it, whether or not you're talking about it, whether or not you're sharing it, one in five of you is highly likely to have a mental illness. All right, so I want y'all to keep that number in your mind. Who else we got? We got Amber. Hey, Amber. We're coming to see you, girl. You know, we got to, we had to stop and eat, and then we went ahead and did focus on it Friday so we wouldn't be late. Um, let's see, who else we got? Miss Lish Wills is uh, watching, and we thank you so much, Miss Lish. And we show appreciation to all the teachers out there in the world, including Miss Ryan. Thank you so much for doing what y'all do. I always say, if it weren't for a teacher, I wouldn't be here. And that's literally and figuratively because both my grandmothers were educators, um, and I surely value all the teachers. There are some super duper special teachers in my life, and they know who they are. Um, and I appreciate them so much for everything that they've done. So yes, one in five. So when you're out tonight, just look around. If you're at the table and you go with five or four other people, one of y'all is suffering a mental illness. The question is, is it you? And if it is you, what are you doing about it? If it's your friend, if it's your spouse, if it's your parent, what are you doing to help them? That's the next best thing. Not simply identifying that person, but then saying, what am I going to do about it? Because these things don't go away. In fact, they tend to get worse, especially as we age and um, life happens. As my mama said, life comes at you fast. It really does. One day you're living your life and the next day, boom, something devastating has, that can happen, right? So do take care of each other for sure. All right. Number five is that um, half of chronic mental illness starts by 14 years old and three-fourths by 24 year old, years old. So half of all the people that are going to be have some mental illness, right? And people don't like to use that word, but I like to call it what we call it medically, right? Because obesity is a medical term. Mental illness is a medical term. And the quicker you can get past some of these things that we call it, you can get to what the real issue is. The fact that your thoughts, your actions, and your behaviors and your mood are not well right so one half of all chronic mental illness starts by age 14 and three four stars by 24 so when people say well i this my child's mind is so young and so developing and uh for these mind altering drugs i would much rather my child live to see 60 with uh, with you know some sense of normalcy sanity right than to let them get to 24 when they have joined the army, gone to college, gone to professional school, and they are out of my sight, and now they're having some big break that I'm far away and can't help them through. So just think about that when we are, you know, having young children who are already encountering uh, mental health challenges. Mama says, life come at you fast. Erica says, hey, sis, I am on it. Miss Crystal Joy says, one in five. We've got Camp Hong Chom. Thank you for joining. Uh, Miss Lish thanks us, and we certainly thank her and all the other educators. And everybody is saying one in five. It is a beautiful day, Priscilla says. Priscilla's right there. There's Amber's mom and dad, y'all. Tell them, hey. Hey, how y'all doing? That's my brother, y'all. We're traveling to go see, uh, see my sweet niece walk across this stage. They don't let but a half of a person in, but we're going to just... All right, let's see what else. The last thing, um, so we're talking about seven tips for um, seven tips about mental wellness, mental health, since it is a mental health awareness. I saw Coach Bird on here. Hey, Coach Bird, I miss you yesterday and today, but I, I'll be back Monday. I'm going to do the replay in the morning. 
I got good reasons today, so don't 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 get me. Um, number six, I think we are. Um, the first person that you should talk about with your mental state, mental wellness, is your PCP, which leads me to a very important point. If you don't have a PCP, which is a primary care provider, primary care giver, a doctor. If you don't have a doctor, please identify uh, a doctor that you can go to every year somebody write go see a doctor every year just write go see a doctor every year that is so important because when when stuff happens and i guarantee you that if you continue to live stuff will happen you want to have someone in your pocket who already knows you and so you are not trying to go and establish care with someone right in the time of crisis so establish a uh, a relationship with a doctor get a doctor that you can call on that you can see every year who knows you by name you know sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name you don't need everybody to know your name but you need at least one doctor to know it so that when life happens a parent dies or whatever the case may be they can say oh well maybe you just need a little bit of this to help you sleep because the time it takes to get in to see someone like me maybe several months and so we want you to already have someone in your pocket to they that will be your primary go-to for um, mental uh, health maintenance go see a doctor every year that's my friend Erica Parker hey y'all if you're in Birmingham you know miss Erica Parker let's see what is miss Erica Parker she is our um, Jefferson County treasurer I had to ask my husband who went to high school miss Erica Parker Thank you so much for joining us today. Clarence 3 says, go see a doctor. Erica Parker says, go see a doctor. Mama says, go see a doctor. Miss Christine Bernice, thank you so much for joining. So make sure, folks, that you are going to see a doctor. And if you don't have one to go see, let's rectify that by next week. All right, let's go ahead and make that happen. And then the last thing is that the most common mental illness or mental health disorder is anxiety. Y'all know I love to talk about ADHD, but ADHD is not the most common thing overall as in fact across the globe so not just in the u.s but in the world anxiety why is that because people are worried people are concerned people are having panic attacks people can't sleep at night people have chests in their tightness in their chest think they're having a heart attack um and so it's a really big deal we're overextended we make a hundred dollars a month and we're spending three hundred dollars a month and now we can't sleep at night so make sure that you do whatever you can to reduce your stress if it is a bubble bath, make sure you do it. If you got to leave your families and go to the McDonald's and get a Sunday, go do it. Uh, Coach Bird, I'm not going to get a Sunday. Um, but for all the people that are not trying to erase their waste in 30 days with Coach Bird, uh, maybe they may want to shake. And then, hey, you know what? Even if you're trying to erase, erase your waste in 30 days, but the difference between you losing it and keeping it together may be to go get a shake right don't get the fries and the hamburger to go with it but i don't know that one shake is going to completely throw off everything if you've been doing what you need to do reduce your stress absolutely miss erica says reduce your stress treasurer she says yes treasure i had to phone a friend and ask uh what it was that you were i knew it was something important just can't get that title right all right, so here we are, seven things you need to know on the seventh day of May, which is Mental Health Awareness Month. Uh, mental illness is anything that impacts your mood, your thinking, or your behavior. All right, so if you have anything going on with that, if people tell you you're irritable all the time, that's your mood. If people tell you you look sad all the time, that's your mood. If people tell you, girl, who thinks like that? That's some odd thinking. Those are your thoughts. If you notice that your thoughts move quickly and you can't stop them or they are taking over your life, then those are also thoughts that are concerning. Remember that therapy works. Number two, get you a good therapist. Uh, there is nothing like it. And really, except for ADHD, in all of mental health, therapy is actually the first answer. And then we add medications on. Number three, mental health promotion. Make sure that this weekend you're doing something for yourself. Make sure you do something for yourself this weekend. Um, that could include, if you never get a bath, a bubble bath. But if you never get five minutes to yourself, actually that's problematic. I don't care how young your kids are, even if they are fresh out the womb, you need a good five minutes a day where you can decompress. So if you're still in the hospital and you've just given birth, put that baby down with somebody who you trust. Walk out all right we're back on 
All right. So I'm, I'm back on here now. That was number five. Okay. Number six, get you a PCP. All right. So get you a PCP. If you don't have one, go ahead and get one now. And number seven for the seventh day of May, the most common of all mental illnesses is anxiety. And I know it. I see it's 18, 20 people on this call. I'm, I'm willing to bet that 10 of you have anxiety. Are you the one with anxiety? Just raise your hand. Nobody can see you. Just raise your hand if you're the anxious one. If you're always worried, if you're always tight in the chest, if you're always thinking of what if, what if, what if, what if. All right, I see y'all. I saw the 10. Thank you for raising your hand. All right, let's see if we have any other comments. Good information. All right, Miss Miss King says, amen. I do all my checkups. I, doctor, mammogram, physical, um, all of my checkups are excellent. Praise God. I am blessed to see only my physical doctor, so I will not get sick. I love it. That is absolutely what we do that for. Um, Miss Crystal says she missed my videos. Miss Lish, you say you're the anxious one. We thank you for sharing. And it's okay, right? Because I think about all the teacher friends that I know who are in some of my mommy groups. Teachers were really nervous this year about going back to school. So there's so much that we have to be anxious about. Um, and at the point that we are anxious more often than we're not, that's when we really need to make sure that we have things under control. Stacy Martin Smith, thank you for joining. She says, yes, I'm anxious. I am anxious. Yes, yes, yes. So we got to make sure that we're doing some deep breathing. Go back and check out some of my anxiety videos. I talk about uh, grounding exercises where you just stop wherever you are. Look at the name or identify five things that you can see. Um, four things that you can touch. Uh, three things that you can smell. Two things that you can um, taste. What's the other sense? I'm, oh, hear, right? And one thing that you can hear, mix them up, all right? So that's what we are. I think it's 5C, I got it mixed up. 5C, four touch, three hear, two smell, and one taste, that's it, all right? And that's grounding. And you're doing it very slowly, you're deep breathing in deeply, and that's just to reset you or to ground you when you feel that you are overwhelmed. Miss Crystal says, I feel so bad about myself. It paralyzes me. Absolutely. We want you, Miss Crystal, to get in and get some therapy for yourself. We know you are a super mom, but make sure that patient one is you, right? When I was in residency, everybody would always say, Dr. Rudolph, at that time I was Dr. Rudolph, Dr. Rudolph, how is it that you always eat? And I said, it's because I have figured out if I pass out, none of these patients will be seen, right? Even when you're flying, they tell you if you're traveling with small children and other adults who would need assistance, if the cabin loses pressure, do we have any flight attendants on the call? If the flight loses pressure, right? These things are going to fall down out of the sky. These masks, they say you will not feel the air, but it's blowing. And they tell you to do what? Put yourself, put your own mask on before you put it on someone who's traveling with you. So make sure that that is something that you adopt in your real everyday life. You don't need to be on an airplane that, to know that even though you've got small kids traveling with you, even though you've got sickly parents traveling with you, even though you've got sickly adult children traveling with you, even though you have sickly, um, you know, co-workers mom friends whomever you must take care of yourself all right i hope y'all have enjoyed this i've enjoyed being with y'all on the road traveling um to check out my my niece and we're just gonna make it a real quick trip and we'll be right back um tomorrow so um if you all oh are we coming back tonight so if you are having any mental health issues Please, please, please make sure you check, get yourself checked out, all right? Get checked out, all right? You know I love y'all. I care so much about y'all, and I want to see you do well. And um, if, for example, you need anything from me, if I can help, just send me a message. Of course, if I see your children in any of my facilities, please do not send me a message about them, as I will not respond. Call the office where I see them.
and that's out of love and respect for your child's personal advice all right i love y'all i will see y'all next friday we'll go over seven more tips until then i'm dr brandy b triple board certified child and adolescent psychiatrist and through my facebook live streams my upcoming book y'all which i have a copy in my hand super excited hopefully it will be in your hands the end of this month but through all these things i have worried moms dads um and everybody teachers who are concerned about children with ADHD and other any other mental illness get what they need so that they can help them become successful in the classroom and in life I like Miss Crystal says tomorrow when I sure what you need need help with self-esteem badly um Miss Crystal I'm gonna reach out to you having fun on our road trip we love you too says Miss Cecilia hopefully Miss Cecilia you saw our shout out to your son he's going somewhere y'all to work in Atlanta and he's doing something that I can't even pronounce but it's like he's a radio frequency something or another in engineering just glad to say that I know the young man over there doing big things of course um, Amber's graduating this weekend um, my nephew next weekend we are just having so much fun with all these graduates and smart kids thank you for sharing your time with me i will see you all next week be good bye bye